Well, quite frankly, this bill would uh, um, put an end to the three communiques. Um, and I, I don't know how else you can you see this. Uh, it's, it clearly states that they're going to support militarily and also uh, in terms of you know, the idea of the independence of Taiwan. Uh, that was never on the table. But what you have is a, a you know, across the aisle, uh, parties are now ganging up on what they see as the only issue that they can agree on, and that is China. Having failed at home uh, with you know, inflation and COVID, uh, they're now looking abroad to create some sort of distraction as they approach these midterms. The only strategic significance right now are the semiconductors. And right uh, at this point, uh, six days prior to Nancy Pelosi, uh, going to the uh, Taiwan, uh, she shepherded through a bill that will, in essence, gut Taiwan's economy. 15% uh, of their GDP, GDP, 40% of their exports is related to semiconductors. 90% of, uh, of the semiconductors used in the U.S. are from Taiwan, uh, the advanced ones. So at this juncture, if the U.S. starts producing these uh, with subsidized rates, with subsidized uh, uh, research, uh, it will spell the end of Taiwan. Therefore, its strategic significance goes down. After that, it can be easily discarded as a PR card in an effort to vilify China.